Today I'm going to show you how to add text to the bottom of your 3D prints. I'm using the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And I'm going to see how small of a font I can print before it breaks down. So we're creating a new sketch. I'm going to create a rectangle about the size of a business card and add some text. I'm choosing to go with an Arial font because the lines that make up each letter are uniform in thickness. Some of the other fonts have lines that neck down real thin, and with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, printing those thin parts of each letter would limit how small of a font I could use. I'm also using a bold font just to make the lines even thicker. So here's my print card. I'm using Arial between three to six millimeters, both bold and regular. So the first step is I'm going to extrude the backing plate or the card. I'm gonna go 0.2 millimeters up and 0.2 millimeters down. 0.2 millimeters is the thickness of each layer printed on my printer. And we're gonna select new body. So now we have a card with our sketch wedged in between like a sandwich. We're gonna show our sketch again and we're gonna select all of the text that we want to subtract from the top layer of our card. So we're clicking extrude. We're gonna go 0.2 millimeters up and we're gonna cut or remove that from the existing body. So we will end up with a card with letters engraved into it, and all the letter pieces are held in place by the backing plate. If we didn't extrude that back plate, all the letters would be like this, free floating, and we'd have a lot more objects to deal with instead of just one like we have here. I'm gonna turn off our backing card and turn on our sketch, and we're going to extrude these letters up one more time, 0.2 millimeters as a new body. And you can see on the left, now we have all these bodies. And these are each letter that we printed out. These are all separate pieces. But we can select them all, combine them into one component. That'll make it easier in Bamboo Studio to select all the text as one body instead of having to select each letter one at a time. All right, so here we have our first body, which is our text that we'll print in one color. And the other is our backing plate with negative space for those letters to fit into. Let's export this and get it into Bamboo Studio. In Bamboo Studio, the first thing we need to do is flip this thing over because we're actually printing the text on the bottom of the part and we're looking at the top of the part here. So I'm going to click the top surface and make that the surface that lays flat on the bed. On the Objects tab, we imported one step file, but I'm going to split that up into two separate objects. And that's going to be our text and our backing plate. Here I'm just changing the color of the filament for the text, just so it's easier to discern which one's which. And since the text is being printed on the bottom of the part, but we're looking at the top of the part, the text looks like a mirror image right now. If I move the backing plate, you can see the yellow text underneath, and I'm gonna select both components and slide it to the edge of the build plate so that when the machine homes, it won't accidentally home on some of my letters. If we take a close look at the fonts, the three millimeter bold is already losing some of the characteristics and the only thing left of the three millimeter font without bold is just a couple of dots. The three millimeter bold definitely looks better than the four millimeter without bold, so bold is definitely helping. Let's get this thing printed. All right, we have our text being printed. Looks pretty good. I don't have an AMS, so I'm manually changing my filament and doing a couple purges. I'm going to unselect the text and select the backing plate, and we'll print that now. I usually take my hot build plate off and press it against the cold metal side of my toolbox to drop the temperature and that makes the parts much easier to peel off. And I'd say this looks pretty good. The three millimeter bold is definitely readable. The three millimeter is definitely just a couple dots, but that's what we knew from the preview. I also printed this in reverse colors, and you can see that there's a little bit of color bleeding inside the O, the D. So I definitely recommend purging a lot or using the darker color as the background so the bleeding isn't as obvious. If anyone out there has a better method for adding text to the bottom of a print, please let me know in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.